Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out in Prosper, Texas. We're gonna be installing a Mandel Mount MM860 above a fireplace with a 75 inch Samsung frame TV. All right guys, so um, we're in the living room here. Um, a customer had uh, another company mounted the TV here. Um, 75 inch frame with a Bose soundbar. Um, right now we're working on masking everything off. Let me get over here and show you what we're working with. Um, other company did something a little strange here. They didn't, uh, what they did is they actually just have the frame TV on a Santa uh, looks like 4D mount. Uh, these are great mounts. We sell a lot of them, but um, really not made for a frame TV application. Um, and they just zip tied the one connect box to the back. So uh, if you don't know, the frame TVs use, uh, have no inputs aside from the one connect cable. All of the inputs and power go to the one connect box here, as you can see. So. Um, we're going to relocate this box down into the cabinet. That's near goal down here where all their other equipment is underneath here. Um, we're going to use the MM860 um, and we've got their uh, soundbar attachment as bracket as well. So we're going to recess this actually in the wall, which is why we are masking everything off. Uh, we've got several vacuums. Um, we're going to have to uh, take an angle grinder and cut a uh, big hole in the tile for our um, recess box. So we're going to get to work on prepping and getting the TV down and starting our measurements. So we've got the TV down. Uh, we're going to start assembling the bracket on the uh, TV, which we've got on the bed in the other room. Um, we're actually using the new SB kit. Um, this is an all-new kit that attaches. It's a, a adjustable soundbar bracket to go on the uh, mantle mount lineup. So um, we're going to, uh, we're actually mocking up our vacuums and our uh, dust stopper. We've got a few different vacuums and things here to uh, minimize the mess as much as possible. So you can see we've masked off the couch and floor and everything here. So uh, we're going to continue getting to work. So we've got our bracket attached to the TV here. You can see we've got our um, soundbar attachments mocked up here. Um, they're going to, uh, you see these actually will slide and we'll tighten this up once we get it up, but we'll actually use it to sandwich the TV or the soundbar on here. Cause of course these, um, where the threads are, are in a uh, place that does not line up uh, for the, to actually thread in here. So that's, what's really nice about this new bracket from Mantle mount is that this has a lot of options for different sound bars. Uh, so we've taken our measurements and determined where the hole needs to be for the of the fireplace. So we're going to go ahead and start um, taping and marking. So Charles is here. We're uh, marking our center, and we're going to start taping up here. Uh, you can see where the old uh, the holes for where the old uh, TVs were mounted. Um, not particularly secure, actually, how they were in there. Um, so it's a good thing we're coming in and uh, fixing this. Uh, once we get the holes done, we're going to add in our horizontal studs, um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get to work on this. So uh, we've got our uh, box marked here. We're going to go ahead. We've killed the power, um, and we're going to go ahead and start uh, grinding away. So a bit of an update here. We've... Uh, cut our tile and um, we're able to pry it out and chisel it out. Um, the uh, electrical outlet had just an offset here, so we pried that wood out as well, um, so that it was even there. Um, of course, some unexpected uh, bit here of this big blocking. So we're gonna have to figure out, uh, we're gonna have a little bit more framing involved in this particular project than uh, we expected. So uh, we now have our hole cut. We've uh, cut a hole for our outlet box and now we're just uh, inserting the uh, tiles here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start measuring for our framing. All right, so we've got our shims in place uh, to bring the, so the flange is pretty darn close to level. Um, we've got our framing in place and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pre-drill and uh, so we can get our mount attached. 
Alrighty, so we're finishing up here. We still got some cleaning up to do, but wanted to give you a quick overview. Uh, so we've got our 75 inch frame TV um, with our Bose soundbar below it. Um, this is a mantle mount MM860. Uh, we've got it into our control four system here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some things that we've got. So in our living room, you can hit menu. I've created these custom buttons. We can go to mantle mount and go up, down, stop, memory one, memory two, or home. So we're gonna go in and hit, hit down and it will actually start coming down. If you want it to stop, you just hit stop on the screen. So if we come down, we're just gonna hit stop and now it stopped. We can actually even go down and go to memory one and it's gonna to go to our memory preset. Um, this of course does have the mantle mounts remote, um, but this is um, into control four. You can have this set to different variables with control four as well. Um, just knowing when it turns on and off, you can do various different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you behind the TV as well. So as you saw before, um, we've cut out the hole. We actually just finished caulking all around this. So it looks now like it was meant to be here. It's almost flush um, with the tile. Um, we actually had to pull this out. Behind here was huge pieces of wood that we had to um, cut out and reframe this. Um, so uh, that was a bit of a challenge to say the least. Um, we've cut a hole there, so we've got our uh, surge protected outlet and our brush plate for our cables. We relocated all that as well. Um, everything is nice and tidy behind the TV here, and we're going to go ahead and bring it up so you can see. So we're going to hit home on our touch panel. And it just raises right up. And of course, this is the frame TV, so it uh, is. This is in the art mode. And you can see just how close this gets to the wall. Uh, there's not really a, a better solution for this. Um, sucks it up real close. It is. Uh, maybe an inch off the wall uh, and that's basically just enough room for the brackets so um, it is up here and nicely set up all right guys well thanks for tuning in if you're interested in a system like this please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com we're of course located in the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas. We're authorized dealers for all the products you see in our videos. So if you're interested in anything, just give us a call. We can help you out with full system design, uh, sales, installation, the works. Uh, look forward to getting that next video out. Thanks guys.